Now we will look at system settings. More specific user management. Let's navigate to system settings. Then access. In web port, there are two main types of permissions. Those assigned to users and groups. Or those assigned to the connections. Let's start to add a user. Click on add user. And let's name it test. The settings you can adjust here is selecting the language. Let's select English and the home page. So, the user is directed to a specific page, which can be useful for example users who only need access to one specific report. Give the user a global permission. No access. Users won't have access to anything. Instead, you'll need to set specific permissions for folders, pages, and so on. View allows users the right to see but not modify. Basic gives users permission to modify setpoints with the lowest level of access. Advanced gives users permission to modify all setpoints and also manually operate both pumps and valves. System provides users access to system settings. Admin grants users full permissions, including creating new process pages, reports, and more. In this case, we want to use no access and set a password and save. And let's try to log in with the new test user. As you can see, we don't have access to anything. Let's switch back to our admin user and add some permissions. We can add the permission on a group level, so let's add a new group. Let's name it Team Test and select a home page to our ventilation page and global rights. We select view and save and go back to users to add the test user to the group and save. Let's try it and log in with our test user again. Now we have the permission to see all pages, but we can't change any set points. So let's switch back again and add some more permissions. In addition to global permissions, you can add specific permissions to a page folder, tag, object, and functions. Let's add some examples for each of these. Let's add a page permission. Select our group, our ventilation page, and view rights. Save. Add a folder permission on the test user for the cooling folder and add admin rights. Save. Let's add a tag permission for our test user and tag LB01GT11SP1 for the setpoint, and advanced rights, save. Let's add an object permission on our test user. The search patch to the object is defined with the page ID dot and the object ID, for example, ventilation underscore LB01 underscore WPP dot SV31, and give advanced rights, save. Last is function permission. Let's select our user and give him tag setup and admin rights, save. Now let's try our new permission with our test user. On the ventilation page, we have view rights, so we can't change anything. But we have a tag permission on GT11, so here we can enter a set point. And we have an object permission for SV31, so here we can manually maneuver the valve. If we go over to our cooling page, we have admin rights, so we can edit this page. And we also have a function permission. So in system settings, we have access to the tag lists. Let's switch to admin user again. The other type of permission we have in web port is applied at the connection level, meaning from the IP address or host you're connecting from. By default, there's default and local host. Default applies to all connections that are not specifically defined here under connections. Settings that can be made are Allow connection. This provides the possibility to block connections by adding an IP address or hostname here. Allow pin code. Allows the use of a pin code for login. Pin codes can never be used to grant admin rights. Full screen. Hides all menus to provide a full screen view. I can show how it looks.
Zoom and Scale. Enables zooming and scaling of process pages. Embed PDF. Embeds PDF files into HTML code so that PDF files can be viewed regardless of the device or platform without needing an installed PDF reader. Pin side menu is the same setting as this in the left corner. Allow script call. If you enable external script calls, you can run scripts via web calls and return. For example, trend data that can then be used by other systems, whether it's to display on an intranet or if you have another data collection system. Allow printing. If you want to allow printing for different types of pages, auto login. You can choose to automatically log in to an account without needing to enter a username or password. Two-factor authentication. If you want to enable multi-factor login via email or SMS, for this email or SM settings needs to be configured first. We also recommend using Kiona Identity as a login option. 